Hey, this is uh, Future Matt. I already recorded the introduction to the video, but I wanted to tack on. Um, I have the ductless here um, in the background while I'm kind of giving the intro of what's going on. Um, I did just post a deck profile where I actually go over this quite a bit. Um, so if you would like to, I'm going to have that uh, linked in the description uh, if you want to check out the deck profile as well. All right, I'm going to dip out and let uh, past Matt here explain what's going on. All right, uh, what's going on guys? This is going to be the video that um, kind of goes over some of the combos um, for Dragon Link. Um, by no means am I trying to outline every single line of play. It's pretty much impossible to do that. Um, the deck has a very high uh, skill ceiling and uh, it, it's, it's very difficult to pin down exactly all the combinations of things that can happen. Uh, but I just want to give some examples. So I'm going to flash up here on the screen right now uh, sort of a chart of what my, I'm going to do. This is a, a chart of hands that I'm going to do. So we're going to do a bad hand. We're going to do kind of the very bare minimum, which is also not that great. Um, but, uh, and then we'll show kind of what happens if you draw one extender with a random normal summon. Uh, what will happen if you draw Absor Router with various starters? Uh, what will happen if you draw Chaos Space as well as Chaos Space with a with the normal summon? Um, and then after that, I'm going to do two I think probably two um, hands uh, with just showing an actual hand and how how drawing cards during the combo changes up what uh, what what you do. Um, I I do want to also uh, point out on this uh, this chart. I have a tip here, so um, you should generally speaking these there are exceptions. You should summon seal first as your link to, as long as it doesn't hinder your combo. Um, if you need to go into Romulus or Alki Fibrex by all means go into it because that's going to make your combo much, uh, make your combo happen versus not happen. Uh, but you should always go to seal if you can. Um, so that's the first rule of thumb. The second rule of thumb is just remember that LP takes four resources. So you need to be able to get four bodies on the field um, that are like linking off a normal summon and linking into striker. That's still one body. You haven't summoned a second body yet. You gotta remember you have to have four, I'm gonna call them resources to summon LP or it's three with World Legacy Guard Dragon. Um, and so given that information, I'm gonna flash another little chart here. Um, here's what determines on what you do for your turn. Can you um, get to LP? Can you get three or four resources on field um, to get to LP? If you can't, you're probably just gonna end on Heretic Seal, hopefully a tidying if you got lucky, but that's pretty much all you can do. Um, and if you can't get to if you can't get to, um, it, it, it'll depend on the hand. Like usually if you can get to seal, you can get to tracer, uh, to, to LP because you can get to tracer and then tracer pop the boot. So that you can normally get to, to LP if you can get to seal. Um, but if worst case scenario, uh, seal is out, uh, you can just summon seal, right? Um, if you can get there, then you need to ask, do you have access to tracer? You should have access to tracer. You can always go into Romulus um, as your link to. Um, but if you don't have access to Tracer for some reason, or you're doing a weird line of combo, uh, you're going to have to LP your Tracer out. Otherwise, your LP is going to usually grab Chamber first, or if you already have Tidying, you can go get Brotar, um, or you can get Safer. There's various lines of play, but this is kind of the flowchart of uh, what you will summon uh, with LP um, for your combo. So let's go ahead and jump into some examples. All right, on the uh, list of hands that I'm doing, this is the uh, bad hand, uh, which is where you pretty much just open one summon and that's it. Um, so I'm gonna use this, uh, everything, uh, the Dark Rulers and Turbo Tactics in these examples will be used as uh, dead cards. Um, and so in this example, uh, we have just Rocket Synchron. So all we can do is go into Striker um, and then search out Boot Sector Launch. And then you can either leave Striker on the field, or more likely the better thing to do is uh, just to pop itself to get back Rocket Synchron. Um, and then just pass turn and hope that you don't die. And maybe you'll draw another monster next turn to, to actually go full combo. Uh, this is the worst case scenario, it very rarely happens, but this is uh, something that can happen. You can either draw just Rocket Synchron, or you could have drawn like, no monsters at all that you can play. Um, in which case you just wouldn't have Boot Sector launched in your hand. So let's move on to the next example. All right, so our next example is when we have a uh, just a normal summon, but not the worst case scenario where you can actually get to two summons. So in this case, we're gonna use Safert. 
And so we are going to summon Seifert, activate the effect, go get uh, Black Dragon, and then summon Black Dragon and turn that into a striker. And then striker get boot, and then black get white. Summon white, and then you can either turn this into a seal um, if you don't want to push through for some reason, like that's just an A1 interruption ending. Or if you want to go combo, you go into Romulus, Romulus gets Ravine, and then you activate Ravine, discard one of these these unknown cards or dead cards in your hand uh, to send Absor Router, and then Absor Router to get Rocket Tracer, and then you replace Ravine with Boot, summon out Tracer, Tracer effect pop, uh, Boot, bring out Recharger. Okay, I want to pause here for just a moment. This is a common setup. We're going to have a Link 2 with uh, two monsters, so in this case Tracer, Recharger, Romulus, but it could have also been Seal, Tracer, Recharger, or any four combination of, uh, of monsters, uh, or a Link 2 and two, mo two monsters. Uh, this is going to be the cusp of where you can do combo. So this is going to turn into LP, this is going to turn into Striker. So in future combo, in future hand examples, when I get to this stage where I have a Link 2 and two monsters, I'm just going to cut off the example and go, you have seen this combo before. So I just want to point that out. So pay very very close attention to this moment because this is the moment where uh, I'm going to actually show the extension of the combo from this from this stage. So we turn the re uh, tracer into LP. We turn the recharger into striker. We're going to LP effect. In this case, we're going to summon chamber because we already had access to striker. We're going to chamber effect to go out the trap, and then we use striker effect to pop LP. LP effect to get recharger and recharger effect from hand to summon back tracer. Now we turn the uh, chamber into pissy. We can pissy effect. In this case, we can get back the safer we banished, but it, it could have just been chamber if uh, if this there wasn't like a safer there to get. And then we turn those two into a savage, and then savage effect who just gets one negate, and then we set the trap. And that's it. So with just uh, a Seifert, uh, we were able to end on this board. So that's an example of just having a one card that lets you get two summons. Um, as long as you can get into Romulus, you can do this combo with any combination um, of getting two summons. So it didn't have to be Seifert into, into Black White Dragon. It could have been, you know, um, Black Metal Dragon and we'll get you to this stage. You could have just had... Um, like any two monsters can turn into this. So let's go to the next example now. All right, so in this example, we're gonna be looking at if you have a Rocket Synchron or like a Rocket Tracer plus a World Legacy Guard Dragon, um, then this is a combo you can do uh, using those cards. So we go Rocket Synchron into Striker Dragon, Striker get boot. We're gonna World Legacy the Rocket Synchron back. And this is the moment where it's important to play Halki and two Rocket Synchrons because you can go into Halki here and then Halki out a, the second Synchron and then turn that into an LP and then move LP and then LP effect. So in this case, because we don't have access to Tracer, um, we're going to, you can either go into Tracer right now um, or if you plan the combo out enough that you know you're going to go into Romulus, you can actually still go into Chamber right here and because you're going to eventually get to Romulus to get Tracer, which I, I'll show the Romulus example here because it, it's it's a better play. So here we're going to go get Chamber. Chamber effect is going to go add Trap. We're going to um, link off Chamber for Pisty. We're going to Pisty effect, bring back Chamber, and then we're going to link off LP and Pisty for Romulus. We're going to Romulus effect to go add Ravine. And we're going to turn the Romulus and Hockey Vibrex into Absolusa. Uh, this is why I said in the deck profile, Absolusa is probably the strongest card, uh, just for this reason alone. In this bad opening hand, it was able to turn this into a strong resource. So we got a two neg negate Appaloosa, and uh, we're going to go into Ravine. Ravine effect, discard a dead card, get Astro Router to get Tracer, replace Ravine for Boot. We're going to Boot out Tracer, and then Tracer effect on World Legacy to get Recharger. Uh, now we can go into uh, Chaos Dragon, Chaos Ruler, uh, to go ahead and mill five. 
And luckily those none of those were high impact for the turn, so I'm just gonna keep them as they are because I don't want to get more resources and, and get make this more complicated. But you go into Chaos Ruler, um, and now you can turn these two into a quad boral, and then quad boral effect pop itself and bring out the recharger and tracer to then go into the savage and then savage effect to get a two negation. You set the set the trap and that's it. Uh, this is pretty good. Um, you have Chaos Ruler for follow-up, so when you're sealed uh, tributes yourself, or we don't have sealed, do we? Not in this case. So we have Chaos Ruler set up, but we don't have any lights because we can't. We couldn't go into seal with the uh, the current hand we had. There was no way to get seal up here in the top. Um, but once we get uh, a lighting graveyard, Chaos Ruler is follow-up. Uh, we have Chamber with Tidying for follow-up, and we have Recharger in the graveyard to set up a follow-up for. Striker Dragon plays. So this is a pretty good board. I mean, given how how minimum the hand was, it was just two cards that got us here. Um, the only real downside of this play is that your tidying, if you're going to have to activate it, will bounce your Savage. Um, but th there's not really much you can do about it in this case with the, the hand being as bad as it was. Um, so that's the reason why you play Halky Fibrax and, in my opinion, why you should play Appaloosa. Because this was much better than having a, a, a Halky sitting here uh, doing nothing for the for the field. So let's move on to the next example now. All right, in this example, we are looking at a uh, just a normal summon plus a quick launch. Uh, so we're just gonna use Rocket Synchron here. It doesn't really matter which one we use. Uh, so we're just gonna summon Rocket Synchron. We're gonna go get Striker, which is going to let us uh, go search boot. And then we're gonna quick launch out a Tracer turn those two into a Romulus and then Romulus effect. It's gonna uh, go get Ravine. And then we use the Ravine again to go get Absaratter and send it to the graveyard. And then that's gonna get us a Tracer. Then we replace the Ravine with a Boot Sector to summon out Tracer. Tracer pop Boot, bring out Recharger. And again, we're at this stage where we have two links, a uh, link two and two monsters, which we have covered in a previous line. So that's that opening. Uh, let's move on to the next one now. All right, so on this one, we're going to be doing a, uh, we have a normal summon plus a Noctovision in hand. So we normal summon, we go into Striker Dragon, Striker to go get uh, Boot and Chain Noctovision to summon, which Chain Blocks Ash Blossom. Uh, so we're going to Boot Sector launch and then turn those two into a Romulus because we don't know what we're going to draw. Like we could draw on Noctovision something that would extend the combo and make it stronger, uh, but you got to go into Romulus to be safe. Uh, so we're going to go search this and then draw. Now to simulate a worst case scenario, I'm going to draw Triple Tactics Talent uh, so that it doesn't extend the play any further. Um, and then from here we go into Ravine. We're going to Ravine, discard, get Astro Rider, get Tracer, and then boot out Tracer and then bring out Recharger. And this is uh, the first example of where we have previously gotten to this stage. Uh, so there's a previous combo that has already reviewed what to do from here. So we're gonna move on to the next one now. All right, so this is gonna be the example where we have Rocket Synchron and Absor Rider Dragon. Uh, so I'm going to uh, normal summon Rocket Synchron, special summon Absor Rider Dragon. I accidentally forgot to record uh, whenever I did those two actions. Uh, we're going to link off Rocket Synchron for a Striker Dragon, and Striker Dragon is going to go search Boot. Now we link off these two, and we can go into Seal here. Ask the Rider to go get Tracer, and now we're going to boot out Tracer. Tracer effect, pop the boot, bring out Recharger, and again we are at this stage where we have a uh, Link 2 and two monsters. This is actually better than a Romulus version, because you, you have a Seal, uh, but it's still the same combo. You're going to go into LP Pissy and do the same the same uh, various things, and those things would change depending on what these three Dark Ruler No Mores were that were in your hand. So let's go ahead and move on to the next example. Alright, this is going to be the example of uh, Seifert plus Absor Router Dragon. Uh, so let's run through this one. We have Normal Summon Seifert, uh, use its effect on Absor Router, which is going to search in Noctovision, and then Absor Router will go get you Tracer. We uh, turn that Seifert into a Striker, and we Striker plus Nocto. Nocto, Nocto Chain Link 2. So we bring out Noctovision and we go search Boot Sector Launch. Now we're going to turn these two guys into a seal. Um, you could go into Romulus here um, because you don't know what you're drawing off Noctovision, so you might want to reserve 
that so you can kind of see what's going to happen but going into seal here is fine as well you already have the resources for combo and i'm going to again search the worst case draw for knock division which is a triple tactics talent here uh, just so that the combo doesn't get any more complicated uh, given the, the starting hand uh, so now we're going to boot sector launch summon out tracer tracer's going to pop boot sector launch bring out recharger and look at that we are back uh, at this spot again that we've been multiple times before so uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next example all right so in this example uh, we're going to have our last starter black metal dragon and that's going to start with an apps router uh, so let's go ahead and run this one through we got black metal dragon uh, link off for striker we're going to striker and black metal uh, black metal chain link one because uh, striker getting negated is less important than uh, black metal then we're going to banish the striker to bring out uh, black metal and we're going to uh or darkness metal who's going to bring back black metal and then we're going to link those off for a romulus and romulus effect to get ravine we're going to ravine effect discard this apps router dragon there's a couple options here you could discard safert um, which would set up for some plays in the future or you could uh, send rotar which can activate to fix your hand during your opponent's turn um, so there's, there's a couple options here um, but uh, if we're just going to do safert um, for the example and go into tracer now we're going to activate boot summon tracer tracer pop boot to bring out recharger and we are back to this spot again where we have a link two and two monsters which we have gone over uh, in a previous example uh, so we got two more basic examples left and then we're going to go over some practice hands um, so let's go to that next example all right, this one is going to be um, Chaos Space plus a discardable card off Chaos Space, which we'll use Phantasme since he does nothing uh, to help the combo. Um, this is going to be basically the exact same thing as Savert's uh, opening, which we'll, I'll just go through. So we're going to discard, go get White Dragon. This is the That was the equivalent step right there of Normal Summon Savert Tribute to get White. Um, so the only difference here is that you're going to get a Chaos Space draw. So we go uh, white, and then we summon striker. We get striker white to go get boot and black. We're going to summon black out and banish white. And now we get a chaos based draw. Now this chaos based draw um, could draw us a monster that could get us into a better combo. Um, but I'm going to, again, assume the worst and say that we draw nothing good like triple tactic talent. Um, and so at this point, it has now become equivalent to the safer opening where we just go into Romulus. We're going to Romulus uh, and also search white and we're going to go get Ravine. We're going to Ravine effect, discard and go get Abster Router effect to get Tracer. We're going to boot over Ravine. We're going to Tracer out from boot and then pop the boot, summon the recharger and we are back to this stage. Um, if we had a, a better draw here, we could have maybe turned the Romulus into a seal or um, um, a whole bunch of things could have happened, really. Um, it really depends on what you would have drawn there, but the, you could have possibly um, made the, the play a little bit better, but this is already uh, potentially better than just opening safer alone. Um, so let's go to the last example um, that we're going to cover that's uh, planned out. All right, and this is the last example. I just wanted to have a normal summon plus a chaos space discard uh, just to show, like, how that normal summon makes a difference. So we're gonna chaos space just like before. Go get white dragon. We're gonna white dragon out, uh, and then go into striker. Go into striker, get boot, and then get black. We're gonna black bring out banishing white. We're gonna chaos space draw again. We're gonna draw the worst case scenario, but this could right here save our hand and make it actually a strong hand. But we're just gonna draw the last dark ruler instead. Uh, then we're going to turn these two into a Romulus. Romulus is going to go search Ravine, and we're going to also go search White. And then we're going to Ravine effect, discard, go get Apps Router to get Tracer. And then we summon out Tracer with Boot. And in this case, we're going to, we're going to normal summon Brotar and, and make a seal. And now we're going to Tracer effect on Boot. And so the, the difference between the last line and this line, like I was mentioning if I had drawn better on the chaos base last line is that we get to end on a seal instead of a Romulus which is stronger and then this is a, a standard combo from here um, so that's the last sort of planned basic hand I guess I mean there's a lot of variables like the, what you would do in each of these hands is different when you draw different combinations of these openings like for example we had normal we had a, a rocket plus apps router well what if you have rocket plus apps router plus safer or 
what if you have Seyfert plus Black Metal plus Chaos Space? Like, when you have these different combinations of these hands, it really changes up, like, what you're going to plan to do on, on all the stuff. So now I'm just going to play a couple of practice hands. Um, I'm, I am going to kind of cherry pick these into sort of a finding like a, a kind of happy medium hand and like a really good hand where like I, I get maybe get lucky on chaos ruler so let's just look at a couple of these uh, natural opening hands now and see how the combo might change all right so let's look at uh, this hand as an example so we have a chamber we have a tidying so this is actually probably gonna be a good hand um, to showcase because I can show why I like the three tidying because I'm more likely to open it um, and then we have Call by the Grave, which is actually a flex in my deck. This could be like another Triple Tactics, or more Rocket Package, or a, a Hand Trap. Like, this could be a lot of things. Um, so let's just run this one out. So we're going to summon Chamber to go get Tidy. And then we're going to turn that into a Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon effect is going to get us boot. Uh, we're going to Ravine effect to discard Tidying to go get Absolute Rider to get Tracer. Uh, I wanted to do that first before summoning White, so I don't have to banish Chamber. Um, I only run one chamber, and although I can get her back with Pissy, I don't want to take the risk of banishing her and then not being able to go to Pissy, like if they Nibiru me, and then she's she's like gone. So I wanted to get the Absor Router Dragon in the graveyard first. Uh, so now we summon out White Dragon by banishing Absor Router, and we turn those two into a seal, and then we go White to get Black. And uh, this is a misplay, uh, it's not a big deal, but I summoned White Black Dragon here, but I should have just held it and played it later in the, in the combo. Uh, because now I'm going to summon use boot to summon out tracer and then tracer pop boot um, so I didn't actually need the black dragon on the field to get to LP so I sh it should have been in my hand uh, but it doesn't really matter for the for showing case showing the example for the combo so we're going to go into LP we're going to go into striker we're going to LP effect uh, so we have dragon we have uh, dragon mage chamber already and we already have rocket tracer um, so your main options here are to go into brotar um, or you can go into something like Seyfert, or in this case, I'm going to go into Black Metal Dragon so that I can get more extensions uh, to try to make this a really strong field that's hard to break. Um, so now we're going to Striker Pop uh, LP, get back Recharger, and then Recharger Effect to discard and summon back Chamber. And I'm about to make another misplay here. Um, I should turn Black Metal into Pissy before... Um, doing what I do, I'm about to summon Chaos Roller. So this should have been, Black Metal should have been Pissy first, so then I would search Darkness Metal Dragon out of my deck, so that I can't hit that off Chaos Roller. Um, so this is another small misplay I made um, while doing the combo, but let's go through it. We do Chaos Roller, and I hit the Darkness Metal Dragon, which kind of sucks, but it just, it's just a, it's just an, an extra card that I would have had in my hand. Um, so let's just keep that in mind. I should have had one more card in my hand at the end of this combo, because it will be important. Uh, so now we're just going to turn that black metal into a Pissy, and we're going to do a Pissy effect. We're going to bring back out Tracer. We're going to banish Pissy, summon Red Eyes, and then Red Eyes effect, bring out Rocket Synchron. Rocket Synchron and Chaos Ruler to bring out Hot Red. And then Tracer and Striker to bring out Quad Boral. And we're going to Quad Boral effect, discard Called By. I, this could have been, I could have discarded the extra card that I had, so I would have had Called By during my opponent's turn. Uh, so depending on what that extra card would have been, um, it would have been some monster, so some monster would have been better to discard than called by, because called by would have helped me during the next opponent's turn, but that's fine. We're going to pop those, bring out Tracer and Recharger, and then link those off for Savage and Savage Effective Equip to get two counters, set tidying, and our ending board is now we have two bounces on the field. We have uh, Savage Negate, Hot Red Negate, and we have Chamber, we have Tidying Banished Chamber, chain hot red to stop dark roller so i can stop dark roller no more and i have two bounces two negates which is really strong so it's it's it was a pretty good hand um the only reason this happened though is because i milled rocket synchron i didn't have access to rocket synchron in this combo from my opening hand so that this hitting a rocket synchron changed uh what i was aiming to do toward the end of the uh the sequence um, if, for example, that I didn't misplay and I had that extra card in my hand and that called by that I discarded was like quick launch or just a rocket synchron from the beginning, then this combo would have been able to be, been done with the, the given opening hand and no luck involved. Uh, but this is, this is a good example of how the combo can change 
um, as you're pushing forward and you either draw cards or you mill cards with the Chaos Ruler, uh, it will change what you're going to do. Uh, so let's look at one more. That was a pretty good hand with a, a pretty lucky mill. Uh, so let's go ahead and look at a, uh, a more normal example um, that's not as lucky. All right, let's look at a different example. Uh, so this one's going to be kind of a, it's an interesting hand. Uh, we have Triple Tactics Talent, which is either dead or really good to have. Um, double Cal Space, so one of these is dead. We have a discard for Cal Space and we have a Safert. Uh, so the reason I want to do this one is to kind of show how the, the combo can evolve over time. Like Chaos Space is going to possibly change what we're going to do. Uh, triple Tactics would, would definitely change what we do if they had like a hand trap or something during our turn. Uh, but for our example, Triple Tactics will just be a dead card. Uh, so let's just kind of go over, uh, see see what happens. Um, this, I definitely misplay a little bit in this, and I'll, I'll go over it. Uh, but I wanted to show different lines of play that are possible within the deck. So we're going to Chaos Space, go get White Dragon. We're going to summon out the White Dragon, and then turn uh, that into a Striker and go get Black and Boot. And then we're going to summon out Black Dragon, and then banish for Chaos Space, draw a card. Let's see what we draw here. So at the moment, before I draw this card, my plan right now is to probably go into a um, Romulus to go get Ravine, Ravine discard the dead Chaos Space to send Absor Router. That's my current plan. Um, and okay, I drew the Absor Router, so it'll be similar. I'm gonna get Ravine to discard this, but uh, now I need to uh, uh, discard the Absor Router because I don't have a second one. So we're gonna go into Romulus and we're gonna get White Dragon and Ravine. Going to activate Ravine, discard the Absor Router. Now there's a couple options here. Um, I'm going to go with discarding Brozar. This will help me during uh, my opponent's turn, or even possibly during this turn. I might be able to summon it back and, and get the effect. Uh, just setting that up in Grave, and then going and get Tracer. And here I'm going to I'm going to I thought about it, and I'm going to take back what I did. So I, at first I activated Boot to summon Tracer, um, but then as I thought about it, I was like, you know what? Let's let's do something different. Let's not do the same combos that I've been showing in the previous examples. So let's normal summon safer, discard this dead white dragon, and go search a recharger. And then turn those two into a seal to help protect us against Nib. And then boot, boot sector out both of these, and then turn these out. So at this point, I'm not dark locked, which is another big difference between the previous play I was going to do and the current play. Uh, we're going to LP out the chamber. Chamber's going to summon the, the trap. And... We're going to strike or pop the LP, get back the recharger, discard the recharger, bring out uh, Tracer, and bring out Pissy. Now we have a couple options here. Uh, just to show different lines of play though, I'm going to Pissy out this Brotar. Brotar effect, discard the Chaos Space that's dead. Let's go get Levianir, and then we're going to Levianir out uh, a card from their hand. So now they're down a card, uh, and just to show a different line of interaction or of play here. I wanted to go into Appaloosa. Uh, the problem is I actually already used Romulus, which is the actual way you would do this. You would turn, because you, you can't Appaloosa with Pissy on the field. So you would turn the Pissy and another monster into Romulus, and then you would Romulus and the other two monsters to summon Appaloosa. I don't have a Romulus, so you really shouldn't do this. You shouldn't turn these into a seal you don't want to burn your second seal like this um, so for the sake of argument just pretend like this is Romulus and that I, I hard drew Ravine maybe Ravine was one of the other cards in my opening hand or something uh, it's just so we're in a similar game state um, but now I can turn those into an Appaloosa that has three negates and now I'm going to dark lock myself by summoning out Rocket Synchron now because I had already done recharger i couldn't get recharger off this effect so in order to summon my savage i'm gonna to have to turn these two into a quad boral quad boral discard the last dead card um, into tracer recharger and then turn those guys into a savage with two negates and set down the the uh tidy so in this case i ended on two bounces three monster negates and omni negate uh, which isn't bad. Uh, Follow-up wise, I have a Chaos Space, which is going to draw me a card next turn. I have Brotar, but I don't have a card to discard with Brotar. Um, so Brotar isn't too strong during my opponent's next turn, but that's that's fine. Um, I have a Safert to get Chaos, Dragon Levianir back, and 
Um, we have plenty of lights and darks in the gray for, for the uh, follow-up as well for like summoning out Levy and Nier again or if we end up getting into a Chaos Ruler. Uh, we also have Chamber because I'm probably going to play the t I'm going to play the trap during the turn next turn, so I'll have Chamber as a follow-up. This is a pretty solid uh, ending board. Um, I just wish I had a card in my hand so I could I could utilize Brotar uh, better. But I just wanted to show kind of something different that wasn't just the same stuff that I've already gone over, even if it wasn't completely optimal um, in the examples. Um, so anyway, hopefully. Uh, you can take something away from all these different combos. There are so many different ways that, that the deck can run, and depending on the opening hand, and, and if you know what you're playing against, and what hand traps you're trying to, to play around, or when you're trying to bait out the gates, there's a lot of nuance with exactly what order and what, what things to grab and when uh, with this deck. But um, this will at least give you an idea of how to get to LP given different various pieces and just showing a couple of examples with actual hands and getting to draw random cards and, and seeing how it changes uh, the, the plan of action. So anyway, I uh, hope you take care and bye.